suck it up, Buttercup. Your life is fine. You're sitting under a tree with a hat on, looking crazy in this with the sun shining on you. Uh, taking your locks down. There's nothing. Life is good. And hey, so we have come to a stage in the game of vlogmas where if you're seeing this, I am running out of time to edit. Right now, it's November 29th. And I am only have only edited seven days of Vlogtober. I would have liked to be more ahead than this. Because I have like a lot of footage to get through before we get to this part. Where we at right now. But the thing is... I'm doing this on my phone because this is just going to be way easier. It's going to be way easier. It's time to just, we head it into, we basically, you know, tomorrow is the last day of November. So we basically in December. It's time to, all them things you've been seeing, snippets of me taking down my hair. You've been seeing the gifts I've given to myself. You've been seeing the workouts, the eating it's time to combine all those together and just give you a day by day of what I've been doing. And so this is what I'm doing right now. Just got off work, got my little pimple patches on. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm taking this lockdown and hopefully I get three down today. I'm going to leave it right there and I'll get back with you. So I was, another thing that prompted me to be like, you know what, I'm about to just start recording on my phone and hopefully I'm okay with the quality because this is really just an easier thing because I can just edit it on my phone and in my bed, which I guess I could do it the other way, but it just seems easier. I just need, I need to get a new phone, that's what I need to do so I can, you know, have the quality that I would want you know but anywho I was like yesterday I just got overwhelmed I don't know it was like a lot of different things that I was getting like agitated with that I normally could handle and my husband was like what what do you think is the like main thing like what's the thing that is the root of the problem that's making all these other things unmanageable and that was a good question but I really wasn't able to pinpoint but what I did do was kind of changed my mindset around it like I was like you know a little stressed because I've been traveling a lot this year I feel like and especially in the fall I feel like I traveled a lot and so I'm just not ready to go back out but then I, I just looked at that differently like you know my family's not gonna be around forever you know like people that don't live in my house that live in Missouri you know people we're mortals so we don't live forever and so it's a blessing to be able to go and spend time with my family members you never know when the last time is going to be and it's a blessing to make those memories even if it's not the last time if it's a hundred more times it's a blessing to make that you know this time uh it's a blessing to be able to travel it's a blessing to if i do get irritated to be able to leave you know to be able to go to a hotel or to be able to just get in the car and go to the hotel whatever it, it's a blessing so done with that i was like stressing about gifts and stuff like that and it's like barb okay so you need to stop buying yourself stuff because you, you keep buying yourself stuff while you're talking because i can't think of nothing to buy other people but it's a it's a blessing to have you know did the means to do this so life is not hard i was over here talking about i had to check myself because i'm like huh my job i was like i, I feel like i want to just work at such and such them jobs are hard whatever such and such i was saying all them jobs are hard my job is not hard okay it can be frustrating but let's understand i work from home so anything that's in the service industry or anything dealing with humans outside my house it's gonna be an issue even if it's just co-workers and I have to deal with them outside my house that's a hard job so suck it up buttercup your life is fine you're sitting under a tree with a hat on looking crazy in this with the sun shining on you uh taking your locks down there's nothing life is good and just be okay with that like I got a little overwhelmed though holiday season can be a little overwhelming so it's just good to 
remind yourself and get change your mindset to gratefulness if you can access it if you can access gratefulness any piece of it finding one thing to be grateful for uh maybe that'll help so i just wanted to share that i remember one of the things that i was stressed about uh what was it? <laughs> dang on so both my kids are in winter sports so that makes the afternoons all these practices it's a lot of work and this don't look too bad when you got the light in front of you it don't look too bad <laughs> so maybe this is how i need to be recording but yeah that was that was the because the nail that had hit the the head that had hit the hammer hammer hit the nail on the head it doesn't matter my son is in wrestling. Wrestling, if you got a small child, don't encourage him to do wrestling because the meets are all day. Now, my oldest, he do basketball. That's not that long, like a two hour situation, right? Or something like that. Wrestling meets all day. They, their day coming starting at 8 a.m., 6 p.m., 8 a.m., 6 p.m. They're working a job. They are. You know, because they, they wrestling person after person. you moving from this to that. You know, you're getting points for your team. And that had that has sent me. It has sent me. I was stressed about everything. Like, everything was getting on my nerves. My husband, I don't even know what he, what did he say? I think he asked me. <laughs> he said he was going to get something to eat. And I was like, I can't be eating out. You know, I don't know what it's doing. You can handle it on the outside but we don't know if you can handle it on the inside like i was just like mad about everything like because he was trying to feed me i was mad like it was crazy i had lost it but i'm good now i just want to remember that i want to tell y'all yesterday when i was talking about how i was complaining about my kids have all these extra well not all these but they have extracurricular activities that they're doing and things like that and i'm like what your kids are able to run and play and they want to be active and they want to use their lungs in a positive way they want to hydrate their bodies in a positive way they want to move uh that's a blessing so even though you know life is busy just reframing those say i'm learning to reframe those things or remembering to reframe those things and realize that these are it's really a blessing that you know this life it could be something different then what you know so uh today what's today we got practice today a late practice 8 30 practice today we got a basketball game tomorrow a late basketball game tomorrow thankful for them <laughs>